Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from the cubicle.us. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so the first item in the box is this cube with the cubicle.us stack mat. So this is the newest stack mat that the cubicle has come out with. If you guys are unaware, this cube with the cubicle.us design is basically centered around the lawsuit that the cubicle is currently having with Rubik's that's still ongoing. So all the money that's generated from this as well as the t-shirt with the same design is gonna go towards their legal fees that they have because lawsuits are very expensive. They also still have a GoFundMe going to support them with all their legal fees. So if you guys wanna support them in that, the link will be down in the description below. I'll leave the links to everything down below. But yeah, overall, this is a really, really high quality mat as always. Uh, this is made from the same material that all of their mats are made from. So if you guys have any of them, you guys already know what they're going to feel like. But yeah, they're nice and thick. Uh, they do a great job protecting your cube from, um, you know, falling on the table all the time whenever you finish a solve. And they also protect your table as well from getting dinged up from your cubes. And they also work really great as mouse pads. So that's what I pretty much use these mats for, are mouse pads. So the previous one that I was using before this was the Nationals 2017 mat. So now I'm going to be using this. Yeah, overall though, this is feels like a really great mat. I'm really, really like the design. I like how it doesn't take up like the entire width of the mat. Uh, it's a little bit smaller and it just overall feels really nice. So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this mat. Let's go ahead and move on now to the six by six. All right, so this is the X-Man Shadow M 6x6. This is the only 6x6 from X-Man. This is the stock magnetic one, so it comes with magnets from the factory. It costs $50. There's also a non-magnetic version for $34. So I'm pretty excited to check out this puzzle. I've heard some really great things about it, so let's go ahead and do some turning. Wow, the first thing I'm noticing is just how fast it is. This feels really, really great. The turning is also super smooth. Um, yeah, but it just feels really fast and fluid, which is not all that common in 6x6s, especially out of the box. Um, wow, I'm really, really impressed with this. This is pretty amazing. So yeah, the turning is very smooth. It has that slight like sandy feel that you get with a lot of out of the box cubes. I'm sure it'll go away after a little while. It's most prominent on the second layers, uh, but it does feel really good. Oh, we got a little bit of a lock up there, but popped back into place, not, uh, not too bad. The tensions are um, fairly loose, so that definitely could be a problem. Um, I could see this cube locking up more. Um, yeah, hopefully though, uh, with a little bit of tightening that will go away and we still get the really nice, um, fluidity because this feels, this is by far like the most fluid six by six I've ever used. And I do want it to be a little bit flexible because I'm not all that accurate with turning big cubes. And so I need a little bit of that flexible feeling, um, to kind of force my way through some turns. Um, as for corner cutting, yeah, I'd say about a piece is about as much as you're going to get before you start forcing a lockup for the outer layers. Um, pretty much same for the inners. You know, you can see how you can just force a lockup like that pretty easily. Um, yeah, all, corner cutting all around is good. Reverse, I'm, I'm sure it'll just, it's pretty minimal, um, but just enough, you know, that you need. So definitely not too bad. Overall, though, I just really, really like the way this feels. Um, out of the box, I'd say I definitely already like this more than the Yushin Red. I can't say for sure though, if this popping thing really uh, becomes more of a problem, it, it could hold it back from being better. Um, but the feeling I like, I prefer already. Uh, it just, you know, the cube feels very, very stable. Um, when, it, when it's not locking up and it's actually turning fluidly, like it just feels stable. This also is supposed to be magnetic, but I can barely feel any kind of magnetic feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely there, but it's just super light. I'd say it's strongest through the middles. Um, that's when you can actually feel a most prominent click. So I'd assume there's stronger magnets in the middle layers. The second layers are the most light, and then the outer layers, you can definitely feel a little bit of a bumpiness from it, but overall, it's not that big of a difference. So you probably could go for the non-magnetic one um, and pretty much get the same experience. I don't think the magnets are gonna be all that necessary. Um, be interesting to compare it to a non-magnetic one, really see, um, because even light magnets can make a difference for sure. Um, but yeah, overall, I don't think it would be that big of a, uh, a problem if you got it without the magnets. Another interesting thing just about the appearance of this puzzle 
We open it up here, you can see that the uh, the internals are primary plastic color, and so are uh, the internal corner pe or it, uh, center pieces. Sorry, <laughs> um, you can see that the caps are black, but then uh, the entire rest of the piece is primary plastic, but the edges are not. So it does provide a pretty cool look, kind of when you turn it like that, and you can see mostly black and then just a little bit of a uh, primary plastic color. Looks pretty neat. So yeah, overall, I'm very, very impressed with this puzzle out of the box. I think this is a really great improvement for 6x6 hardware, honestly, uh, because most 6x6s, pretty much every single 6x6 I've ever gotten is kind of terrible out of the box, uh, and you have to do quite a bit of work to get it to be good, whether it be magnetize it or change the springs. Uh, changing the springs has been pretty common in like just about every 6x6 in order to make it good, which is definitely not ideal. It seems like it should be shipped with the springs that are set at the correct tension, which uh, this 6x6 definitely feels like it is. The springs might even just be a little bit too soft, um, but yeah, like the re uh, the Yushin Red, it's a great 6x6 once it's set up properly, but out of the box, it's really terrible. This is one of the first 6x6s that's actually incredibly awesome out of the box, um, which is great. So if you guys are looking for just a 6x6 that you don't need to spend a lot of money to have someone else set it up, up, uh, and you just want to get one that is good out of the box this is definitely gonna be your best option and right now I think this is definitely has a pretty good shot at being better than the red um, which is pretty awesome I do want to try the new uh, Moyu 6x6 the Aoshi GTS I'm pretty sure that's what it's called um, and because I've heard that one's also pretty fantastic and that these two are actually pretty similar in performance but just have slightly different feels but out of the box this feels really good the inners also feel good um, it actually feels like I could do um, a parity algorithm the way I would on a 4x4 I kind of want to try it yeah that that totally works I mean it's not the smoothest thing ever but uh, that's something I've never been able to do on another 6x6 before, which is awesome. I normally kind of do it uh, the way you would on like a cuboid or something. I don't know. I just do it like that. Not much of a 6x6 solver, so, uh, you know, I don't, I can't really say anything about whether or not this cube is actually better than the red. Uh, I'm going to have to solve it, you know, some more and, and see, but, you know, maybe I'm not fast enough to even really be pushing this cube to its limit, uh, and maybe it doesn't perform very well under like faster turning. I can't really say that though, because, um, not much of a 6x6 solver, but for me at least, this feels pretty awesome. And I think for a lot of you guys, it'll feel awesome as well. Anyways, that's about it for this unboxing. So yeah, that's about it for these two products that I got from the Cubicle. If you guys like to purchase either of them, the links will be down in the description below as always. Thanks of course to the Cubicle for sending me this stuff for free to review and also for sponsoring the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.